Hello everyone. Today we are going to work on this uh, camera wobble effect when we see through the sniper. So as you can see here, you can see the, the scope is moving, our view is moving up and down. This is to mimic the wobble effect that we get from the breathing of the character. So we are going to implement that and also when we shoot we are going to implement this shaking effect so it, it uh, the scope gonna shake the view gonna shake and after a while it's gonna be back to the normal stabilized so right this is what we are going to work on today wobble effect and the shaking when we fire Alright, so now mm, when I'm uh, in the aiming mode, as you can see, there is no any wobble effect and when I am in through the sniper, it's perfectly smooth and I can very easily take targets, but it's not realistic. If it is realistic, we would have some kind of a wobble effect like this, uh, some swaying of the aiming. So that's what we are going to implement next. So for that, first of all, uh, we need to create a camera shake effect. So let me create a folder, camera shake. And this one should be under I'm not sure where it is, so we can go here and search shake camera shake. Okay, let me select that. I'll call it cam wobble sniper. Oh, sniper, right. Okay, so now um, let me open this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, under here we have the settings for each uh, uh, to implement the bubble. So, yeah, I first enable single instance. So, in any case, if I try to duplicate this, it will make sure that I'm playing only one instance. And oscillation duration so less than zero means infinite so as long as I'm holding the aiming this should be played so I'll make it minus one to make it infinite so blending time 0.5 seconds and out also 0.5 seconds and I don't need any location oscillation but I need a rotation oscillation to make the a sniper move up and down so let's test this with uh, only with the pitch because uh, yeah then after that let's first test with pitch then after that if needed let's set you and roll um, but I don't think we would need roll anyway right so I'm what like 0 0.6 and 0.2 no frequency 2 Initial offset random. Let's leave it like that's waveform also. Let's keep the default value and see. Okay, now here uh, let me open the sniper blueprint and here when we set the reticle mode to aiming that means we are aiming through the gun so in that case it, uh, we should play the camera shake uh, right and i think uh, for for any weapon it would be better if we have a wobble effect a small or large 
it would be better to have a vowel effect. So I'll go to the BP gun main class and add a camera shake source. I'll call it vowel. But at the moment, I'm gonna only use this for the sniper. Right, so wobble here as the camera shape. I'll just use um, oh. and how we can't assign. Right, so then I'll remove the single instance option. Can assign. Oh, actually, since this is specialized for sniper, maybe I'll just not assign it here and assign here. Open. Okay, and by report, it's not auto activated. So, right. So, here. I'll get the wobble and play. It's called play. And similarly, when I go out of the aiming mode, I'll call stop. We don't have a stop one. Okay, let me just call it stop all camera shape. Right. Now shall we check? Where am I? Alright. See now we see the wave in effect. And when I go out of the aiming mode, it's not there. Similarly, if I go to the aiming mode, I have it. All right. Uh, but I think it would be better if we can just minimize this a little bit because it feels like too much. So amplitude. Let's try one three. Right. It is there. And now as you can see, I have a totally uh, instant shaking but instead of that I need somewhat of a different shaking like once I shake it should go like this and stabilize so I need to implement that so actually that input that moving up part uh, comes from when I, I think I have done it here let me check set Fire. Yeah, this add recoil. Uh, add recoil. I'm calling it from the BP car. Yeah, it's in the fire part. So this uh, where is it again? All oh, right, here. Recoil pitch input. This is minus one. Um, for the M eighty two, I'll set it to. Uh, 
uh, very small value like minus 0.1 right. let me check quickly right it's minimum then uh, let me go here and create a new camera shake actually I can just duplicate this one uh, I'll call it cam shake sniper right now here I'll make this a single instance and duration now this is not a continuous one so I'll make it like three seconds and blend in time uh, when we shoot this should happen instantly so we need to have a uh, bl very small blending time so I'll make it 0 0.1 and blend out time this could be longer because um, because uh, it should take some time to stabilize the sniper so I'll make it three seconds same as the oscillation duration uh, uh, and uh, here I'll add both pitch and yo so for the pitch uh, i think we would have we should have a larger effect so and it should start from zero not randomly because we should shake start the shake from this uh, from the point that we are already in maybe upward or downward yeah upward uh, and for the yo one two this one so zero right now mm, this one also I'll add as a variable to the BP gun uh, cam shake 5 this is the one I'm gonna use when I fire this should be here camera shake object So I should play this when I shoot. Mm -hmm. That means it should be in the emit bullet. Here. Uh, well, I have overridden this part emit bullet also. Have I? Oh, no, I haven't ever written that. Okay, but then here I'll play camera shape after the tracing is done. Play camera, play world camera shape. As the epicenter, I'll give get actor location. In our radius, outer radius, so I'll make it 200, 200, and as the shape class, oh, we can't, no, we can. Well, actually, we can convert this to a class. Shape. Class reference. Right now, uh, um, I'm not sure if I didn't assign any value here. What would happen? Maybe I will get a null reference error because I at the moment I have created a uh, camera shake effect only suitable for the sniper so here let's assign camera shake fire cam shake sniper right it's not that violent but we have some effect see Oh, 
okay that's it this uh, should be enough oh let me quickly check what happens when i shoot another one oh no errors that's why okay so i'm gonna stop this episode right here and next time i want to work on a bullet camera effect when i show when i take a headshot with the sniper i need to see the in slow motion camera going towards the target and hitting the target that's what i'm going to attempt, attempt next in this series and thanks for watching so as always project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye